Hello, my lovely people, Ladin Bumu here. Welcome to my storytelling. Today's story is both scary and beautiful at the same time. This is how I describe it. And I cannot keep this only to myself and my family. I have to tell, I have to share with you guys too. And um, so let me go straight to the point. So back in my country, when I used to be about 12 years old, and I remember I was in middle school. So one day at recess, um, we had, um, it was about five of us, okay? About five or six of us at recess, you know, we were talking, talking about various things, discussing various things. And I remember this conversation came, right? So this came, conversation came up and I remember my friends, you know, talking about sleep paralysis, talking about it, each one of them giving their experience, you know, what it feels like, how it feels to have sleep paralysis. So I was there listening and I'm like, wait a minute, I've never experienced, you know, such thing. What are they talking about? So... You know, each each one, you know, telling how it feels like you can't breathe, you can't talk, it feels like someone is choking you. So I'm I'm listening and you know they they've noticed that I wasn't saying anything. They're like, Mungu, so you've never experienced sleep paralysis? I'm like, no, I don't know what you guys are talking about, you know? They're like, Oh my god, it oh my god, it's the worst, the worst experience one can ever have. And I remember uh, deep in my, in my thoughts, I was like, well, I would love to know what it feels like to have, you know, to experience um, sleep paralysis. So it sounded very scary, but also sounded very unbelievable to me. I, I didn't believe it, you know. I've heard a few stories, you know, uh, uh, when I was younger, but it never happened to me. So I didn't really believe in it. Uh, you know, being about 12 years old. So I remember that night, you know, when, when we, you know, each one went home, each one of us went home. So I remember um, waking up around 3 a.m. Yes, I remember waking up about 3 a.m. And then when I woke up, or maybe what woke me up was the sound of someone wearing a flip-flop okay but outside so basically i felt it outside of my ear okay and my ear you know where where i was sleeping um i was against the wall okay and on i mean after the wall it was a street was a small street so i remember my ear you know touched the. Uh, it was against the wall okay so and this is you know, this is back in, in Africa and where I used to live, around 3 a.m. no one is up. Everyone is sleeping. It's very dark outside. No one is up. No one is there. You know what I mean? But I remember, because I, look, I looked at my clock because my mom had a clock so we can wake up, you know, so we can wake up in the morning and, and start getting ready for school. So I remember, uh, vividly remember that I heard someone like so close to my ear but wearing a flip-flop it was a sound of someone wearing a flip-flop and it was so loud and i was like what the heck you know like why is it so loud and i'm like who is up around 3 a.m anyways so the sound kept on coming closer and closer closer to my ear so weird you know i'm thinking this is so weird and then it stops like bam stops in my ear Okay, and then the feeling started. I'm feeling like someone is choking me. Like I can't breathe. I can't move. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what's happening? But in my thoughts, right, deep inside of me, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't breathe. I can't say anything. I can't even. My sister, I slept with um, in the same bed as my sister. My sister is, you know, sleeping. She's snoring. She's sleeping. And I, I want to wake her up. I'm like, wake up, wake up. But I can't. I cannot move. I can't breathe. I can't do anything. And, uh, and I'm like, in my, in my thoughts, I'm like, God, please help me, you know, help me get out of this situation. Oh my gosh. So this is what it feels like to have sleep paralysis. Because I remember the conversation we had 
with my classmates, right? So I'm trying to wake up, I can't. And then I also remembered one of my classmates saying that whenever you have that type of feeling, you have to yell um, in your thoughts because you can't talk. So by in your thoughts, in your, in your mind, you have to say, you know, the blood of Jesus. So I remember that. And I said it in my, in my, in my um, thinking, in my thoughts. I was like, Jesus Christ, help me. The blood of Jesus. And then, bam, the feeling went away. But that was so scary. The scariest, one of the scariest feelings ever. So, but this is not even the end of the story. Now, listen to this. That's when I used to be about 12 years old, right? So now, as an adult being 40, I'm 40 years old now, at 40 years old, right? So this is many, many years after. I used to be 12, now I'm 40. I have a friend request on my Facebook, okay? And this story, you know, sometimes I think about it, but not often. I have a friend request, um... I didn't know the person. I'm like, I don't know who this person is. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to accept it. So the person sends me a message saying, Hey, Mungu, you don't remember me? We went to school together, you know, at Uniboss. We went to school and uh, she started naming some of our classmates. And some of them I remember, but her, I did not remember. Uh, but I didn't want to be rude. You know, I'm not a rude person. I, you know, I like to be respectful to anyone, to everyone. So I didn't want to be rude. So I pretended that I knew her or I remembered her. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember you. Hey, oh my gosh, you know, it's been a while. It's been a long time. How have you been? But I didn't remember. I had no clue who she was. So because I was, you know, I wanted to be nice. I accepted her friend request because we went to school together obviously about two days after okay i have the most beautiful dream ever i mean the, the dream was very beautiful so in my dream i went to a to a class reunion i went to my school uniboss that was the name of the school uh uniboss or uniboss i'm trying to say in english uniboss so we had an any boss reunion and I saw all of my classmates and that was so beautiful to see all of them as we were, you know, when we used to be about 12 years old. I'm looking at them and them, I'm pointing, I'm like, hey, you, you, you know, such and such. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's been such a long time. That was so beautiful. And, um... I felt my presence in the dream, but I didn't see myself. But you know, but I, I knew I was there in the dream. So then I see that girl, the lady who sent me a friend request on Facebook. I see her in the dream, you know. But you know, when she used to be 12 years old in the dream, so she, she used to be 12 years old, she's looking at me. Sorry. She's looking at me and she's like, hey, Bungu. And I'm like, hey, I'm not going to say her name, you know, for privacy, but I'm just, let's name her Lola. I'm looking at her, her, I'm like, hey, Lola, oh my God, it's been such a long time. It is so nice to see you. I remember her in the dream. I knew who she was. I know exactly who this lady is. She's looking at me. She's like, now you remember who I am, huh? Now you remember, right? And I'm like, yeah, of course I remember. So I'm giving her a hug. I'm so happy to see her. She's like, well, I just wanted you to remember me. And I am so glad you remember me now. And I, I do. I remember her now. I know exactly who she is. And then I remember it. I'm like, wait a minute. This girl was amongst us. You know, the, the, the classmates that when we used to be 12, she was one of them. In fact, she was the one who asked me, Oh, Mbungu, you have never had this feeling before of someone choking you when you're sleeping and you can't move? That was her. So I remember vividly, I remember everything now. And I'm like, oh my 
goodness. So part of me is a little bit scared, but not too scared because I'm, um, I'm a spiritual woman myself. You know, I pray a lot and I'm no longer 12 years old. You know, I'm a 40 year old woman now. So I'm not scared like that. However, I remember the feeling that I had, you know, of the sleep paralysis when someone was choking me, felt like choking me to death. So I'm like, should I delete this woman? You know, should I delete her as, you know, my friend? Should I remove the friendship on Facebook? So I told this story to my sisters and one of my sisters says, why delete her? You know, why delete her? You know, when we, we are kids, we want to play. Maybe when she was a kid, she just wanted to play. She wanted to, to let you know. She wanted you to feel what it feels like being, you know, having a sleep paralysis. And she was just a little, you know, she was just a little kid. I mean, she didn't hurt me. Maybe she thought she was just playing. Maybe she has that ability to astro project. Maybe she can astro project. She has that gift. You know what I mean? She has that gift, but she's not a bad person. I don't think she is. I mean, she hasn't bothered me after that dream. She just wanted me to know who she was. And that was a beautiful dream. I mean, that dream is the kind of dream that I think anyone want to have. Seeing yourself as a young person that you used to be and seeing all of the people you used to know, all of the beautiful people you used to know. That is such a beautiful dream, okay? So, and this is why I decided that I wasn't going to delete this woman's um, friend request or friendship on Facebook. Uh, and since then, I had um, no more incidents, no more dreams, no more nothing. But I thought I wanted to share this with you because this is such a, a paranormal, paranormal activity. You know what I mean? What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, guys, I have so many stories that I want to tell you. It's just that I have not, I just don't find the time, you know, to come in front of the camera and make a story. I work, I, you know, I just do a lot. We own a business, you know, so taking care of the business, work and the kids and the husband and myself but i'm going to try my best when i have time to you know just come and and and, and share a few things with you guys but this is really what i experienced and this is why i'm saying it's scary but it's also beautiful at the same time to me anyways it's scary and beautiful at the same time so i hope you guys enjoyed the story and um i also wanted to um, uh, let you go, guys know if you reside in Las Vegas, uh, you want to check out the wig knock. The wig knock, they sell such beautiful wigs and um, customize your wigs, revive your wigs. If you have old wigs, you can go to the wig knock and they are going to revive, bring it back to life. So I also wanted to just, um, you know, do this little promotion of the wig knock. Please check it out very worth it very good um she used to be the owner used to be a cancer patient so now she's also helping lots of cancer cancer patients thanks for watching and i hope i see you soon on the next story you have a fantastic day evening uh wherever you are be blessed and thanks for watching